CSS3. CSS stands for the cascading style sheet and it's also known as style sheet language. And the 3 basically shows its uh, latest version. The previous version of CSS not support the responsive design of, of web development, but uh, version 3 CSS3 is support uh, responsive web design development. And uh, if you you can say the HTML5 is your structure layer uh, then CSS3 is your presentation layer of web page and uh, CSS3 make your website more presentable and readable prerequisite, prerequisite for the basic for the CSS3 is just a basic knowledge of HTML5 if you don't know about uh, the HTML5 you can take a, a HTML5 series on my YouTube channel and also I have a and develop a crash course for the HTML5. So let us start. So first of all, I create a folder on my desktop, and uh, I just name it uh, whatever you want to give it. I give it name it CSS, and uh, I right click on the folder and open with the, it with the Visual Studio Code. So first of all, we have to create an HTML document and uh, I name it uh, first uh, dot HTML with the help of the MS, just write the exclamation sign and generate the basic structure of HTML file. I give it a CSS3. I change the title to CSS3 and uh, I take a heading H1 tag and uh, I write here oh, welcome to CSS3 just, just save, save it and open it with the live server and I just resize the windows And there are three ways to add CSS in your HTML file. The first way is called inline styling. In this way, in the starting tag, you write an attribute that is like written as style equal to in the value, in this attribute value, you must remember that attributes are always written in pair the attribute name and the value in the value you give the property you wanna apply to the uh, your element so I change here I want to change the color I make it like a color red font color is uh, red and if, if you now this is this is called a statement terminator so now if you save the file you can see the font color of uh, the element is changed your heading is changed but uh, it's not a proper way if you have a uh, like more I just copy paste this one uh, for Visual Studio Code give you a very handy shortcut uh, if you press shift then now press keep pressing shift alt and up arrow key and uh, it keep uh, it give you the copy of the line where you have put the cursor okay just save it so if you have more heading you need to apply every time the style in the starting tag of the element so this is not a, a proper way in the next video i will tell you the second method of the css styling how to add css in your HTML file and uh, there is a also I wanna tell told you uh, extension you have need to install uh, this is a CSS formatter and uh, you need to install this extension okay